you like behind the scenes today, John? I'm a bit behind the scenes, aren't I? Cameras, very hard work. The YouTube sensation that is plain old Ben has come to my home base airport, Biggin Hill, to try out the new Cirrus SR22T GTS. Luckily, I'm a, I've done this a little bit before. I said I'd help him with the filming, in return for being part of the adventure. I know Ben has travelled in a Cirrus from the right seat with a friend of his, but this is the latest version of the aircraft and it's his first time taking full control from the left seat. It doesn't take us long to rig the aircraft with cameras and we get on our way. Have the comms changed in Anthony? She did da, 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 then press enter. Do you still do that now to change frequency? So, so it's actually a little bit different than Anthony's airplane, right? So the keypad is a little bit different. You see the QWERTY keyboard? Yep. Philippe is a fully qualified flight instructor. He's the regional sales director for Cirrus and knows the aircraft inside out. It's my first time being in anything like this. I've even risked wearing my pale coloured jeans. If I'd worn them in any of the aircraft I usually fly, they'd be covered in oil stains by now. Um, next we want Farnborough East, will we? Do you know the frequency? Farnborough West. Farnborough, Farnborough, Farnborough West. West. 125 one. decimal 250. Yep. So it's already uh, in. 125, fantastic. So initially, um, I just like to try and hand fly it initially. Yeah. Because I think I'm going to get capacity max and start trying to play with every single button. Yeah. If that yeah. makes sense. For sure. I'm okay at hand flying. Yeah, first hand fly, right? So in the Cirrus, right, hand flying the airplane, you always want to be able to see ground out the front. Yeah. Right? On the takeoff, the airplane will really come off the ground on yeah. its own. So you're going to want to push forward and use that trim. From 7 Echo Uniform with a left turn out at 1 mile, clear for takeoff runway 03, session 34014. Left turn 1 mile, clear takeoff 03, number 7 Echo Uniform. Okay, toes clear the brakes. Smooth advancement of the throttle. Here we go. Great, we're full power. Full power. There's uh, 70. There's 70, 77. Very nice. And that nose down. Perfect. That's good. Clear of obstacles, flaps up, flaps up. Now we can climb out, it'll be exactly 120. Gotcha. It's good engine cooling, and it gets us to our destination. Wow, that was such a smooth takeoff. <laughs> I have to say. Thanks, John. That was too great. bad. That was excellent. And that's 600 feet AGL, so caps is available. Gotcha. Not that these guys needed it, but since I know the area well, I tried to help out by pointing out key landmarks, airspace and hazards. And you have Kenley to your left at uh, yep. 10 o'clock. That's Kenley right there, you see Roger. It. Thanks for that, John. Cool. Ben flew the Cirrus like a pro. Okay, you're not doing too bad. <laughs> very good. Oh, no, very good indeed. I've not hit capacity max yet, I managed to fly the plane, keep altitude and talk to air traffic control. How I'm doing it, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How are the shots looking, John? Good. How are you Perfect. feeling, Philippe? Oh. Reduce traffic information on yeah, your right-hand side, did you pass the beam? Fair Oaks, possible late warning of traffic. Reduce traffic information, passing fair rates, number 7, a key uniform. I'm not bad at RT, so I'm, um, that's not a workload for me. I'm, I can do RT, I don't have to think about it. So I think if I was crap at RT and then didn't have any idea about anything, I think I'd, we'd have, I'd have been behind the aircraft about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. As we approached the Fair Oaks area, Philippe spotted an aircraft that was flying at about 500 feet over a small town. And I've got this guy here on the right too. Watch out. No factor. He's low, that guy. Holy smokes. Going He's into Fair Oaks, is he? Into the yeah, but Fair Oaks is way over there. Where is he? He's One o'clock, two o'clock low. Holy smokes, he's low. <laughs> is he okay? I think we should be all right climbing up a little bit here. You Do you know. see him? Oh, yeah, I see him. Wow, yeah. And he's a big bird. What is he doing? The low flying rule means that aircraft should be at least a 1,000 feet above ground there. We think we heard on the radio that the aircraft was inbound to Fair Oaks. There's no factor to, to, to us, I'll keep uh, an eye. No, sure. This is going swimmingly. Everyone enjoying themselves? Having a great time. Nah, I've, listen, <laughs> when I get to sit in the right seat and look out... Nice gosh. day out, eh? Yeah, I love it. 
I love it. That's a cool shot. That's a cool shot. That's a cool shot. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, oh. I can't believe this is your first time in the left seat. He's doing really well. Yeah. Thanks, guys. That's kind. I mean, the airplane's very simple to fly. Oh, well, the oh that'll be it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on auto, isn't it? It's on full auto, right? Yeah, now. actually, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Could you pass me a Hero 4 battery? Because it's on Roger. one bar now. My job for the flight was to help out with the cameras and filming. Philippe took control while Ben and I did some battery changes. Thanks. God, he's so, look at him, how efficient John is. Gosh, he's a good assistant. He's, John, I should employ you or something, you're very good at this. <laughs> yeah. As we were at quite a low level for the start of the flight, we were picking up quite a bit of turbulence. So much so, Ben clouted his head on the aircraft ceiling. Ow. Oh, yay, yay. Oh, yay, yay. Not very nice down here, is it? Uh, we'll slow, this, uh, slow the airplane down, that'll help. Uh, Just the rain, good morning, November 477 Echo Uniform, Craft Basic Service. November 477 Echo Uniform, Manchester, Loan, pass your message. Number 477 Echo Uniform, Cirrus SL22, Biggin Hill to Blackpool, by Manchester Barton, some low approaches. We're just currently three miles south of Santee, defending altitude 1,200 feet, routing low level corridor. November 7 Echo Uniform, Roger, basic service you have, QNH at Manchester, 1030. Basic 1030, number 7 Echo Uniform, cheers. I was really pleased that we routed along the Manchester low-level corridor. It's a narrow VFR route between Liverpool and Manchester used by aircraft who want to avoid the controlled airspace here. As a rule, I don't like flying low. The vertical limit of the corridor is just 1,300 feet. But now having gone through it in the Cirrus with Ben, I realised that there are plenty of places to glide clear to if the engine were to fail. Right, I have to keep eyes out down here, chap. Yep. And it's a bit of a... Bitch of airspace. Gonna turn us right, there's just a small site here. You do have to fly near to a couple of small grass strips though, and hemmed in by controlled airspace either side, you can't conform to any kind of traffic pattern. You just have to blast through, keeping a really good lookout. Okay, all lights are on. That's a little airport just there. Right turn all the way around. Oh my gosh, three, so it is. Everyone always flies over it though, don't worry. Lovely neck of the world, my, this is my territory now. I know, yeah, you're back home. Welcome nearly to Lancashire. You did really well getting out of Big End, to be fair. Thanks. As someone that's not done that route oh, yeah. before. I mean, I, I still hate flying around there. And I'm based there. <laughs> are you hand flying now, or are you... Um, yeah, I'm hand, yeah, hand flying now. Flying. You couldn't tell, that's a good thing, isn't it, John? <laughs> I just thought it was turbulence, but now I realise it's your flying. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you, know you know the parachute, it's also got an ejector seat. <laughs> Over on Ben's channel you can see the full flight with some great low passes at Manchester Barton and general handling where Ben put the aircraft through its paces. After all that was done, we approached Blackpool to see if Ben could land the Cirrus from the left seat. That's a nice view today. Oh my gosh. Welcome to sunny we Lancashire. Okay, there's a slight crossover from the left. 80 knots, we call that stable. I think it clear the brakes. Very good. Keep flying it. Keep the power in. Keep that nose down. There we go. Now throttle to idle. Fly it all the way down. All the way down. Let it sink. Let it sink. There we go. Yeah! Nice! Not bad. Not bad at all for the first one. Excellent. Well done. That was alright. That was very, very good. Bounce. But only on the nose wheel, wasn't it? It was the grid. That, yeah. That it was only your nose wheel that was bouncing. That was okay. As far as I could feel, anyway. Yeah. Look who it is. Oh, hi there. You join us in Blackpool. Will you stop? This is my channel. But I'm stop doing your spiel. 
John, I like to take control, you know this. I know. Okay, I'm just going to sit here. Just sit there. I was going to say something nice. Congratulations. Thank you, John. On, on safely flying and landing the Cirrus. It might have been a fluke. We're going for some circuits shortly, and it could all go downhill from here. Needless to say, it didn't go downhill. Ben is a very confident and practised pilot, and he handled the Cirrus like he'd been flying it for months. Our return trip to Biggin Hill was conducted IFR using the airways, as Philippe has a full instrument rating. I was amazed at how easy it is flying this way. With the restricted instrument rating that I have, you have to route below the Class A airspace and you're on your own. On a proper IFR flight plan, ATC help you all the way, keeping you clear of conflict and passing you seamlessly from one controller to the next. Now after we'd landed back at Biggin Hill, Philippe gave me a treat for my good behaviour, letting me fly three circuits in his $800,000 plane. That's it. Great. That's a lot of run-up. Yeah. It gets more as well. Even. Right. And then it gets less. <laughs> so I'm at full power now. There we go. So full power, airspeed's alive. 60. 65. Yep. So wait till 77. And then helping it off the ground. There we there go. go. Yeah, just helping it off the ground. Oh, wow. That's oh, it. That's now, that was down. There you go. Once you're clear of obstacles, you can push flaps up. Flaps up. There. It's perfect. And then climb out around 110. But this is about the right pitch attitude. Maybe a little bit higher nose. That's it. Right there. Right there. So you can always see ground. Right? Plenty of ground. That's it. And now 200 feet AGL. The yaw damper is engaged automatically. So now you don't really need rudder at all. Okay. I've managed to get airborne, but can I land without making a fool of myself? Yeah, it's perfect. You're right on. November 7, I need to form short final. November 7, I need to form is clear touch and go, runway 03, wind 360, 11 knots. Clear touch and go, 03, November 7, I need to form. Here you go, bump up a bit of power to slow the descent rate. Bump it up. That's it. Keep the nose down. Perfect, now, we're entering into ground effect, so power to idle. That's it, fly it all the way down, all the way down, power to idle. That's it, all the way down, and just hold it right here. Oh, yeah. sorry, mate, it's all right. No, it's good. Perfect, all right, Oops. I got your flaps. All right, go, full power. Right rudder. So, with a lot of help and encouragement from the instructor in the right seat, I just landed a Cirrus. I'm pretty chuffed. Two more trips around the circuit, and it gets easier and easier. There you go. So now, fly it all the way down. Let it keep coming down. There you go. Now hold it right here. Just hold it. Hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. Yeah, that's okay. Wicked. Thank you very much. Good work, John. That was great. Let me take the airplane. You have the airplane. You can relax a little bit. Yeah. After that. Relax your grip, your death grip on that <laughs> yoke. <laughs> you got sweaty palms. It's just my Don't fingers hurt. Approach, number one, <laughs> Thank you, that was, that was really nice out. of you to let me do that. Oh, it's my pleasure. That unexpected treat was a great way to end a fantastic day. Thanks to Ben and Philippe for letting me join them. I'll be back in my usual warrior soon. New videos to come. Bye for now.